a very, very class. Uh, it's unique, you just don't know what the weather's going to be like on a day-to-day -day basis. There's always day-to-day -day surprises that get thrown in. But also unique in the fact that we've got the range, so if there's any military activity, we're very busy in terms of aircraft coming in. There might be people up here on the sand dunes that you have to get rid of. On our approach to, to the main runway, there's crofts adjacent to it, so we get a lot of bird activity, wildlife activity. So there's a house on the end of the runway, it's quite unique. The owner of the house would need a cross the runway, he'd need permission and also Ops 1 would have to go out and escort him up the runway. In terms of lifeline service by the airport, we work a, an out of hour service for air ambulance, coast guard, search and rescue, um, even police. It's not just firefighting, we take care of everything from runway inspections to bird control to cutting the grass, water rescue, which we're actually doing a refresher on today. Do a rope rescue, you can obviously do a huddle rescue where the crew would get together and form a huddle, walk out and get the casualty in between them and take them in. We'll get the, the local school kids, primary school kids down just to have a look around, get a go in the whole system. You know, they, they love that pile as a whole. It's a good opportunity because we've got 11 airports. If you're looking to transfer or move away, the opportunities are, are always there within Hyle. We're not just an airport, everyone in the community benefits from it. So I'll start, I'll do that again, right? I know, I feel myself moving, yeah. <laughs>